Hi everybody, and today I'm going to talk about the movie Bully and my experiences with bullying. Because I was bullied in elementary school and middle school and I just want to share my kind of story. <laughs> By the way, I'm outside at my grandma's house. First of all, the movie Bully was awesome. I really liked it. I recommend that everyone go see it. The kids in it were so sweet, all of them were, and I feel so bad that they were all bullied. And it's really sad because people don't realize how much words can hurt. And the one kid in that movie, I, I, what was his name? Alex? Yeah, I think Alex. He was bullied physically too, which is so horrible. The girl in it was named Kelby and she was bullied for being gay because she went to a school that was very unaccepting of it. It was just sad that all the kids were bullied. No one deserves to be bullied no matter what. I'm not really going to talk too much about the movie Bully because I want everyone to see it and I don't want to ruin anything and I'm really bad about spoiling movies and stuff so I'm not going to say any more about the movie. It just got darker outside. Feels like rain kind of excited because I love the rain but anyway in elementary and middle school I was bullied for my weight of course I was also bullied because I was shy and kind of awkward I moved to a new school in fourth grade and that's when I started getting bullied I didn't get bullied at my old school between kindergarten and third grade if I did I don't remember but for sure when I came to the new school in fourth grade. I got bullied quite a bit. And it wasn't so much by girls, it was more by boys actually. And they would make fun of me for my weight and whatnot. And I'm not trying to make this video to be like, oh, boo hoo, cry me a river, you got called fat in middle school. Just shut up. I know that this is in the past, but I'm just sharing my story that I got bullied in school and if you're in middle school and you're bullied, you're not alone. A lot of us i have been bullied in our lives and I just wanted to share my story. I'm not trying to be like, feel sorry for me, whatever, because it's in the past, it's over, it's done with, who cares, you know, whatever. It made me who I am today, it made me a stronger person. See, I'm trying to think of a particular time. For sure, fifth grade was when it got really bad. Fourth grade, I think I got called fat a couple times, but... In fifth grade, it actually got so bad that I faked being sick, like a stomach virus flu thing, and was out of school for a week. I was able to fool my parents and my entire family because I just did not want to go back and get made fun of. And in fifth grade, I did get made fun of more by girls too, but they were more like behind my back about it. So I didn't have any friends in fifth grade really. When I would go to school and there would be like recess time or something, I would go and hang out with the playground aides. They walked around the playground and made sure that everyone was okay and they'd put kids on the wall if they were bad or whatever. So yeah, I would hang out with those ladies. Sometimes our football field, we had like benches on the sides and I would sit there and read and watch the boys play football or whatever. Yeah, I was kind of just... I kept to myself because I didn't know how to interact with people or anything and I was worried that I would get rejected which most of the time I did. For sure I remember this one time we were doing like a science project or something and I got partnered up with this one guy who really didn't like me. You could tell he did not want to be partnered with me which whatever I mean guys are usually jerks in middle school. No offense to the guys watching this out there. A lot of the guys that I knew were jerks anyway. The guy was motioning to his friends and stuff and just like basically making fun of me silently and he because obviously the teacher was right there so he was just like <laughs> like look I'm with the fat chick oh well, he pretended he had a play gun in his hand and he was like he pointed at me and he's like fat girl boom boom I mean now I'm like wow but because it's so stupid but back then I it really hurt me and girls would like when I'd walk by them they'd laugh and just things like that and a lot of them probably don't even remember doing this because it was just like no big thing you know yeah I, I remember all the girls that did it too and a lot of them are super nice to me now and we don't have a problem with each other and a lot of the guys that made fun of me are actually super nice to me now and it's just it's funny when you look at it it's just something that I'll never forget you know 
Another thing is, oh, I remember, it was some type of computer project where you had to use the computer as a group, and this one guy who was in my group, well, I had a crush on one of them, and then the other guy ended up making fun of me. So he said something along the lines of me being a fat, obese cow, and it just, it really hurt, but now it's, like, funny to me to think about that it hurt me so bad, but... I mean, my self-confidence back then was so low. I remember being so embarrassed in front of my crush. Another thing that happened, it was at the end of middle school, it was that 8th grade promotion actually. I had gained more friends in 7th and 8th grade, but still, people still made fun of me. So this one guy was going to ask me out, and I was like, wow, you know, because I didn't think anyone really gave a crap about me. He said, just come talk to me after this song or whatever. I'll be over there with my friends. Something along those lines. And I ended up going over there after the song, just like he said. And when I got over there, his friends started laughing at me. He started laughing too. And it turned out he wasn't asking me out. It was a joke. I actually remember all the guys too. And, or they were super nice to me throughout high school. When I started freshman year, I had lost like 20 pounds or something and people were nicer to me and everything. By sophomore year I'd lost about 50 pounds altogether. People were fine with me. I mean I was still really shy and stuff but they stopped making fun of me. I mean and then all of high school even when I gained the weight back I mean people were still nice. It's just I think everyone's maturity level in middle school and elementary school is just really poor when it comes to things like appearance. People make fun of those things just because everyone's really immature. I know I was. Freshman year actually of high school, I did get called a fat gothic lesbian. I'm not a lesbian, I've never been a lesbian and she called me that just because I dress different. My cousin and her friend went to the girl and said, listen, if you call her another name, we'll beat you up or whatever. And so she never talked to me again. But I don't recommend that you do that because the girl actually could have gone to the school and gotten my cousin and her friend in trouble. <laughs> I don't recommend that you get someone to threaten the bully for you. But that worked in my case, but I don't recommend that because it could backfire on everybody. If you're being bullied, please, please tell someone, either an adult or someone in power, so to speak, like a principal or a counselor or something. Usually the counselor understands if the principal doesn't. And if they don't listen to you, then tell your parents. And your parents should understand and go to the school and talk to them. And I know that sounds like really stupid and you don't want to egg it on, so to speak. That's what some people feel like going to the school does because then sometimes it can make it worse. But if you don't do anything, it could get worse too, so I mean, it's better that you try. I wish I could give better advice than that. I didn't really go to my school about my bullying. My mom ended up kind of making me, but it didn't really do much. We never confronted the people that bullied me or whatever. Well, maybe what happened to me isn't even considered bullying. Maybe it's just name calling. It just, I remember coming home and crying and never thinking I was good enough and all that good stuff. I thought I'd just share that with you guys. I know this video has kind of been all over the place because I didn't really have notes or anything. So I've kind of just been going off of my mind. That sounds so stupid, but I think you get my point. And if you want someone to talk to, I am totally here for you. And I know what you're going through. That's all I have to say. I guess that's all for now and I'll talk to you guys later. I will leave my email in the description box in case you would like to email me about anything. Also, you can leave a comment telling me about your bullying experience. I just rubbed my makeup off, pretty much. Why did I do that? Forgot I was wearing it, I guess.